Well, what's up, YouTube? It's me, your boy Amos, and I'm back with another video. I wanted to share with you guys how I scale my lumber for all of uh, my miniature making and uh, make things a little simple. There's a lot of people that don't know how. I got a lot of questions on, well, you know, how do you scale it? How do you know what to, what size you need and all that? So I'm gonna go over all that with you. Um, for those of you who don't know, I've got my little cheat sheet right here. Um, and once again, like I said, you'll have to overlook my breathing. I've still got the got the corona, the COVID, so I'm still not breathing too well. But I'm gonna give this a try, and, and hopefully, y'all overlook that. Um, right here, I've got my standard, you know, your standard wood sizes, and this is all, you know, U.S. Um, you know, I've got the millimeter here for for everybody across the pond and everything. Um, but you know, you've got your one buys, you know, your one by two, one by fours your twos, your fours, and your sixes. A majority of, of what I use is going to be probably in the two by four to two by eight range, and the one buys, I use a pretty good bit of those. Um, more two by four, two by six, and two by eights than anything, by far. Um, and when I, there's a lot of people that do it by, oh, you know, piece of lumber, two by four, okay, that's two inches by four inches. And that's not the case. It's not at the actual size. Uh, you see right here, you know, two by four is actually an inch and a half by three and a half inches. That's the actual, the actual size. You know, when you go and get it from, you know, your lumber yard, your local lumber yard, or whatever, or your sawmill, or <coughs> excuse me, what have you. Um, so those are these are the actual sizes of the lumber that you get. This is what they're called, but these are the actual sizes, and this is the important to me because I try to do everything exactly to scale and sometimes it looks funky and you've got to uh, move things and you've got to scale it up a little bit and uh, you know it, it it takes a little trial and error um, you know if you go by this size and you scale this you know for two by four say let's say we're making some pallets a little, little small you know little small pallets for uh, like a table D Dungeons and Dragons for example if you make that out of 12 scale, for example, in this actual size, it's going to look a little weird. Um, so you might have to adjust your pieces just a little bit. But for the most part, this works out on a majority of the things. So there's my little cheat sheet on that. Um, my next little cheat sheet I have, which works wonders for me, is my actual scale. And if you look at the first one, let me get everything adjusted here. Your one buys are all three quarters of an inch. Your two buys are one and a half inch. Now, I do, like I said, I do a majority 12 scale. That's just, you know, big meaty claws. If I go anything smaller than that, it's just, it don't work out for me too well. Because I don't do good with tiny little objects, really. So, but if we look here, we've got, you know, three quarters of an inch. Um... Uh, Here's the output, the different scales. We get it lined right. Here's you know 48 scale, 24 scale, and your 12 scale, which is what I use for majority time. So if you look, you know, we're looking at a sixteenth of an inch for your uh, your two by fours. I'm sorry, your your one buys. Uh, your two by fours are actually an inch and a half. So if you go right here, you know, inch and a half, 12 scale, that's actually an eighth of an inch. And that's going to be your thickness. And then you've got the different sizes. And I'll, I'll move this up a little bit. You know, there's your fours, your six, your fives, your nines. And feel free to pause this video at any time. Write these down. Make yourself a cheat sheet like I've got. They come in handy. Especially when your brain meat doesn't work and you don't want to, you know, sit there with a calculator and, yeah just just makes things a lot easier um so if you look i've got let me get over here i've actually have a couple of pieces that that are cut to scale size you know here's one of the two by fours i've got you know the one by eight uh the one by 12 which i didn't cut that one too clean on that side uh two by 12s and two by sixes <clears throat> and if you take your two one buys set them on top of each other nice nice clean fit even though you can't see it that way yeah nice nice clean you know same size 
same everything. So those all add up. If you don't want to sit there and cut them, because, you know, that's a bit. The one bias here, these, these are thin. These are really thin. If you don't want to cut them that thin, the lengthwise, razor plane, strip cutter, pair of scissors, you know, a ton of different things. If you don't want to cut them this, this thin, and, which I don't, because... I would slice my finger open worse than this right here because that's not even from that. It's from, believe it or not, opening a uh, a bottle of Mountain Dew because I got thirsty at work. And, yeah, anyway. Um, but if you don't want to cut them this thin, which, you know, they are kind of thin, then you can go and you can actually get, and this is this is a piece that I've, I've got. It's 36 inches all in all. It's, uh, you know, four inches wide. And this is an eighth, eighth of an inch thick. I can turn around here where you can see. Eighth of an inch thick, you know, balsa sheet. Uh, four inches wide, 36 inches long, $3.50. And out of this sheet, I can make a ton of uh, the different sizes and stuff that, that I would need. You know, it being eighth of an inch thick, uh, eighth of an inch is going to be... The uh, the one and a half inch scale, so that's that's two buys. <coughs> so your two by fours, your two by twos, your two by sixes, your two by eights, two by tens, you know your two by twelve, all all of these, and uh, you can make a lot because you know when you're running that scale, every inch equals a foot. So you know thirty six inches, you're looking at thirty six foot worth of scale board. Four inches wide would be four foot worth of, uh, or I'm sorry, can't even talk. Yeah, four uh, four inches wide would be four foot wide and, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, four foot wide and uh, 30, uh, 36 foot long at a two by. Uh, your one bys, they're the same sizes. So you, you don't, you can cut it lengthwise like this and you've already got your thickness. And, you know, like I said, I use a little, little, uh, razor blade thing for that. Here's one of them. It's a strip wood cutter. In my other video, I've got, uh, the plans on, on building that. And, uh, they work pretty easy. You just put it down. You've got a little knob right here. You can adjust that. I'm not sure which one I've got it set for at the moment. But you adjust a little knob here at the end. And, uh, just put it down put this down next to it adjust your razor blade and uh, just slide it right across and then it's just easy as easy as can be you can do it <clears throat> short ways you can do it long ways and uh, I think I've got this one set up for the ones at the moment yeah because it's not quite deep enough and uh, you can make it deeper it's just those two screws you loosen those Adjust your, I think this is a number four, I think it's a number four exacto knife blade. And uh, you just loosen those two screws. Adjust your depth of it, tighten them back up. If you want it, you know, bigger, you turn it. If you want it smaller, turn it the other way. And um, now what I did when I, when I first began, <coughs> sorry, stupid, stupid COVID. Um, when I first began is I actually got a bunch of these. I got the... The one, the one inch uh, scales, the two inch scales, and the uh, the fours and the eights, uh, just to make four by four posts. Because at some point we're gonna make some some haunted mansions and stuff. Halloween's coming, yeah. There's gonna be some stuff made. Um, and then I just you know get this. You already know it's two inches. You can adjust it to be the two inches right off the board here, and just you know run it that way. Um, but that's basically the sum of it. That's how you scale it down. Um, if you don't have a cheat sheet, you know, like I have here, then, uh, you know, you take your sizes, your board sizes or what have you, and uh, basically you just, you divide them. You know, you, you got your, uh, you know, your one inch, your three quarters, all the way up. This one goes all the way up to 12 feet. I just went ahead and calculated it up that way. Um, you know, 12 feet is going to be one inch, which kind of sounds like, you know, doesn't sound like a lot. And it's not really a lot, 
uh, one inch it would be basically right there that's one inch so we're going to be doing some some pretty tiny things um, I know a lot of the tabletop gamers they use uh, 24 48 scale and I've got you know the 24 or the 48 scale here the 24 scale here and um, you know once again like I said, I'll scroll this up and you can make copies of it if need be they come in handy or you can uh, calculate your own um, hopefully tomorrow I'll be making another video and because uh, I'm actually off work this weekend for once and uh, we'll start uh, we'll start making some stuff getting up on there and uh, we'll let y'all follow along build with me give me your thoughts give me your comments something you want to see me build put it in the script or put it in the uh, the comments um, please uh, please like and subscribe I would appreciate it and lets me know uh, if y'all like the videos I'm doing and y'all have a good one